against laboratory, which was an independent laboratory, came out of a number of labs that were set up after efforts that were put into the Second World War, and it was a Hansen laboratory. Then it became the Ginston laboratory about 45 years ago. Ginston lab at Stanford is what's called an independent lab. Uh, this is a lab that sits between the department with the aim to pursue research that cuts across disciplinary boundary. The Ginston Lab is a really special interdisciplinary institution that combines a lot of research groups from applied physics to electrical engineering. It's extremely collaborative and really uh, brings students together. So we have representatives in the lab from the School of Engineering, the School of Humanities and Sciences, the School of Medicine, all find a common path and a common idea to work under. The stuff that we worked on has changed quite a bit over the years. It was a lot of acoustics for a long time, and there's always been a lot of optics and quantum, and sort of on that boundary between engineering and physics, all those physics fundamentals, they were always there as an important ingredient. So for Ginston in particular, there are works that go span all the way from fundamental physics all the way to uh, many practical engineering applications. It is this unique focus that we have on taking fundamentals and, and applying them. And that sort of naturally leads to inventions, just the culture here that lead to innovations. One of the centerpieces for a long time has been lasers, and lasers now have migrated to photonics. And so this has become a center for photonics at Stanford and is recognized around the world for the research, broadly speaking, in lasers and photonics. For many of years, we've been very interested in understanding something called thermal phenomena in nanoscale devices, nanoscale structures, and these are very fundamental topics. So uh, in pursuing these kind of research, it's very important to be able to start from fundamental physics science. And this is where an organization like Ginston is uh, really very, very suitable for, and uh, which make this kind of organization very powerful. The importance of being able to change focus and meet varying needs is absolutely critical for ensuring that we solve the most important societal problems as they evolve. And right now, with sustainability being one of the most ex existential problems that we have facing us, our ability, both for myself and those of us at Ginston to pivot, is going to play a central role in defining how we can help a society in this way. Being able to work side by side with faculty members from different disciplines brings strength to a program. And it makes doing research fun. It makes educating and working with students in the teaching environment an interesting thing to do. Being a student in the Ginston Lab is a really great privilege and opportunity because we get to do a lot of interdisciplinary research that spans a lot of different fields like photonics and electrical engineering and particle physics and you, know, you name it. And so not only does that mean that we get to learn a lot over the course of our graduate careers, but also we get to come up with really unique solutions to science and engineering challenges. And we get to do it by working with different people in different labs across different departments. But this is an academic or an educational institution first and foremost. And that's our biggest achievements and our biggest privilege too, to be able to work with young people. Being part of this like culture of interdisciplinary work and collaboration will help us build a more like interconnected science community, not only within Ginston Lab, but beyond Ginston Lab in collaborations with other universities, national labs, international organizations, as we all progress in our careers. The students who graduate here um, have historically been leaders basically in every domain of academia, industry, and, and beyond. And, it's just awesome to see what they've been doing and, and it's clearly something that will continue. If you take a look at our alumni, meaning the students who've been graduating from here, they're all over the world in leading academic positions, industrial positions and so forth. So I do think that our students, the students that have left here, are our greatest achievements. And our faculty and our students are involved right at the very edge of that research. So I'm, I'm really optimistic about the lab. It's, it's found another way to be in a leadership position in a research area that's going to be really important for all of us in the future. A great thing about a university like this and it, is that we constantly have new students coming in uh, that bring fresh ideas and that uh, also bring an entirely new intellectual dimension to the lab. So it has been a very vibrant and active lab 
with uh, probably more opportunities than we can think of. And so in that sense, I think it's a very exciting place to be. So the future of our program is so promising because we are focusing on the right application. I think that we are constantly changing. That is one of our strengths and that's why our future is so uh, bright.